Hello students, this is Dr. Anita Raj welcoming you for another important session in which I am going to give the reason why the solution of NiH2O6 times 2 plus is green in color whereas the solution of NiCN42 minus is colorless. Okay? Look at the first complex now NiH2O6 times 2 plus. Okay? First we should find out the oxidation state of the central metal atom. Okay? Ni. How to find out the oxidation state of Ni? See, uh, we shall since we need the oxidation state of Ni, we shall take that as X and then plus H2O is a neutral ligand. So, it is the charge on the neutral ligand is 0 into 6 times is equal to what is the uh, overall charge of the complex? It is plus 2. Okay. So, X is equal to plus 2. Okay. X is equal to plus 2. Right. So, the oxidation state of Ni is plus 2. So, oxidation nickel will be existing as Ni2 plus. Understood students. Now, we are going to write the outer electronic configuration of this nickel. What is the atomic number of nickel? It is 28. Okay. So, how to write? Before writing the uh, electronic configuration, first you should know the nearest inert gas. The nearest inert gas of nickel is argon and it is taken as and its atomic number is 18. What about the rest? We will have again 10 is it not so that should be accommodated in uh, the d orbital it is 3d 8 and 4s 2 so the outer electronic configuration of ni is 3d 8 and 4s 2 okay now we are supposed to write the outer electronic configuration of ni 2 plus right when we will be getting ni 2 plus when two electrons of this uh, 4s 2 goes off we will be getting ni 2 so what could be the outer electronic configuration it is 3d 8 4 is 0 okay then 4p will also be 0 okay now what is the outer orbital of Ni2 plus I am going to write the uh, uh, electron accommodation in the L orbitals right so 3d8 how the electrons will be getting filled up based on Huns rule of maximum multiplicity what is Huns rule of maximum multiplicity the electrons will be getting uh, occupied singly in the orbital first and then after filling all the orbitals it starts to pair up okay since here we are having 8 now I have filled 6 7 and 8 now check this orbital See, it is having two unpaired electrons. Is it not? It is having two unpaired electrons in its outer orbital. Ni2 plus is having two unpaired electrons. Okay. Now, check the, we are going to find out the reason why it is green color. Is it not? So, check the ligand now. It is H2O, right? The ligand, a ligand is H2O and this ligand is a weak ligand. It is a weak ligand, right? So, this weak ligand will not force the electrons to get paired up. It will not force the electrons to get paired up. It is, so, these uh, electrons will be left uh, uh, unpaired, okay? So, it, it remains unpaired. Since those unpaired electrons now will be undergoing DD transition, that means it will be get, absorbing the sunlight and it will be getting transmitted from one uh, d orbital to another one. So, that is DD transition. Because of this transition, the uh, when actually this transition absorbs red light, okay, it absorbs red light, and because of this transition and because of this absorption of red light, this complex entity shows comparatively a green color. So, because of the absorption of red light, this will be showing a green color. Understood, students? The reason now check the next complex. What is the complex now? NiCN42 minus is it not? Here also we are going to find out the oxidation state of nickel now. How to find out the oxidation state? You know, is it not? We are in need of the oxidation state of the central metal atom nickel. So, we have taken as X now. So, what is the charge on this uh, CN? It is minus 1. How many uh, ligands are there? It is 4. Okay, that is overall charge is minus 2. Okay, so X minus 4. 4 is equal to minus 2. So, now uh, after simplifying, you will be getting x is equal to plus 2. So, the oxidation state of Ni is uh, it's plus 2. Okay. So, this will be existing as Ni2 plus. Understood students? Now, we are going to write the outer electronic configuration of Ni now. So, already we know it is the previous explanation, same explanation. So, I am not going to write it tell you again. So, argon 18 3d8 4s2 is it not 4s2 now what is the electronic configuration of ni2 plus outer electronic configuration of ni2 plus it is 3d8 4s0 is it not 
4p is 0 right just the same case now we are going to write the outer orbital of ni2 plus okay so here we are having 8 electrons so based on Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity the electrons will be getting accommodated singly like this first so 5 we have accommodated and the sixth one will be getting paired up 7 and 8 now check here see here also we are having two unpaired electrons okay but check the ligand it is cyanide okay cn cn is a strong field ligand it is a strong field ligand okay so it's a strong field ligand what is the nature of the strong field ligand it will force the unpaired electrons to get paired up it will force this unpaired electrons to get paired up so what will be happening so just will will this electrons to electron unpaired electrons will get paired up okay so here we don't have any unpaired electron since we are not having in any unpaired electron the dd transition will not be induced there will be no dd transition induced okay so because since because there is no dd transition there will be no absorption of red light or any other light so there won't be any color change since because of this reason this nacn42 minus is colorless whereas nac nah2o uh, 6 times 2 plus is color produced okay fine students you might have understood why NaH2O 6 times 2 plus is green in color whereas NaCN42 minus is colorless okay I shall meet you with another important topic in a short period until then it's Dr. Anita signing off from you thanks for watching